Hi everyone, welcome back to Carrie Kirby Creates. And today I'm going to be making, well it'll be a Christmas card, but it's a shaker card. And I'm going to be using this 5x7 pre-cut and scored card, sorry, card base. And I'm going to be using a sheet of acetate. It's just an A4 sheet of acetate that I have there that I will cut down to the size that I want. And I'm using this beautiful tree die by lifescraftart.com, which I will link below in the description box. And also there's a discount code that I'll pop below as well, should anybody wish to purchase that. Now I'm going to be using I think the silver one of these, it's the glitter card. Now, the reason I'm showing the packet is I had a few queries about the cardstock that I used in my last video, which I'll pop up here. If you haven't seen it, you can watch it. And it's just this glitter card. It's a 250 GSM and they're A4 sheets. And it just comes basically from... Mr. Price here in Ireland, which is kind of like a, a pound shop, I guess. I don't think there's any such thing as pound shops anymore, but it would be the euro two here. But um, most things aren't two euros anymore. But I think that I think the packet of 10 is 3 99 if I'm not mistaken. And it comes in these lovely three colours, the lovely... Um, silver and the gold and the red and for today's card I'm going to use a sheet of the silver because I think the glittery card is kind of um Christmassy isn't it so we'll pop one of those out it's not a very heavy card but it's I won't be using it to make a card out of, really, it's more for decoration. So going to be using just a smooth white cardstock and also this lovely reindeer embossing folder that is by Doe Crafts. It just says reindeer pattern. Anyway, I'll pop everything in the description bar below that I'm using today. The so first thing I want to do is cut my cardstock down so i'm going to cut this down to five by seven because that'll be the piece that's behind i'm also going to cut this down to five by seven so i'm just going to go ahead get those done and i'll be back so i've gone ahead and i've cut the silver one down to five by seven then the white cardstock i have cut that down just an eighth of an inch smaller on each side because I want you to be able to see the silver behind it and the acet the sorry and the acetate. I've also cut that down just smaller than the white one. So I need to take another piece off of that actually. Which I have just done there now and yeah, that'll fit nicely behind that. Next thing I want to do is I want to pop that on there and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. So I've gone ahead and done that and as you can see it has cut it out very nicely. So let's just pop that out. So how pretty is that? That's really nice. So the next thing I'm going to do with this piece that I cut the tree out of, which is going to be the top layer in my card. And actually it's not going to fit into that. I should have checked beforehand that um, embossing folder is too small, but not to worry, I have a larger one. It's a different type, but um, that's an 8 by 8 and they're poncetas. So I'll find the packaging off of this and I'll let you know what it is. 
So I'm going to pop that in there. And I just want to run that through and emboss the piece of card. So I'm going to just pop that out. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, really pleased with that one. It's a lovely impression on that. Anyway. So the next thing I want to do is I want to pop this piece of silver cardstock down onto my card base. Go and next I want to come in and pop the little tree scene down but I want to make sure that I get it in the correct place so let's just place that where it will be going which I think should be around there I'm going to pop a bit of glue around the side. I'm just coming in, I'm going to use this glossy accents. So I'm keeping a hold of this and I'm just putting the glue around the edge there because that'll be covered up with the cardstock. I don't think there's a need to, to glue the whole lot down. Maybe just a little piece here and about there. So just getting the placement correct. Yeah, that should be fine. So you can pop that down then. The little trees are sticking up, but that, that'll be quite nice. Going to leave them stick up. So I'm moving on now and I'm going to work on the front of my card. So what I need to do is I need to pop this acetate down to cover the tree. And I'm going to use some of this very narrow, just the red tape I call it, but it's a double sided tape. Just because that's fairly narrow there. Well, let's just see how far out it'll go. Yeah, it goes out far enough that this should work. And I'm going to use a wider tape to do the top and bottom. Just because I can, I guess. Now, so let's remove the the backing on the tape. Weather is very strange here for the last couple of days. Excuse me, for the last couple of days, um, we've got fog, we wake up. I mean, it's not 
abnormal to wake up to fog, but usually it clears as the day goes on. Fog has just gotten worse as the day went on and it's very dull and gloomy as a result of it. But, uh, I've never actually seen this before here. So I'm coming in now with the, the acetate. Just want to wipe it off. I'm going to pop that down. Just making sure that it covers The tree, you know, everywhere there's no gaps. So that's that. And next, what I want to do, does that matter? It's stuck in there. Let's just see. Can you see it's, but it's not stuck, so it should come out. Yeah, there we go. The next thing I need is I need to come in with some double sided foam tape. And I want to, I'm going to actually cut that this way to make it narrower. Now I'm using this Tim Holtz Tonic Studio scissors. I don't know if it's meant to be non-stick or not, but it does kind of stick. I usually clean it with some alcohol. Um, afterwards just to remove any of the sticky residue. It's okay if you're cutting something quickly, but yeah, I just find it's not fantastic. If anyone could recommend one that doesn't stick, I would really appreciate it because I think I've wasted quite a lot of money on scissors looking for one that doesn't stick. So that will be fine. And actually, I want to turn it the other way. And I'll tell you why now. Yeah, that's better. It's because it's a shaker card and obviously I'll be putting little bits and pieces in there. The inside of that will be quite sticky, so it'll just, it'll end up sticking. The little sequence and stuff will stick to it. So it's important that I get the outside that's not sticky down. And I can put that there. Just going to go ahead and cut some more of this off camera. So I've gone ahead and I've stuck them down, leaving no gaps. And I just want something very narrow to go along either side. This tape wouldn't be easy to manage that with, so I'm hoping that these will be better. They don't have to be exact once they're not sticking out. There's one in there. Yeah, it's important that I've no gaps between them. That's that's sort of the main thing, really. because we don't want the sequence getting out. Now just block that there. That should be okay. Now I'll go ahead and do this side. So there we go. That should be okay. It's There's no gaps in it, which is the main thing. And I'm thinking twice about these little trees sticking up because the sequence may interfere with them. So let's see, I think I'll just pop a little bit of glue down behind each one just to hold them. I'm just going to pop that there. Just to leave it dry. Yeah, it's important that the glue is dry before I add the sequence. Okay. 
Mm, that's going to go on top there. That's going to be very nice. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm just going to remove the backing of the double sided foam tape. So, there we go, let's just clean that up. And what I'm going to do is I'm using these uh, different little sequences that I'm going to use, you know, these uh, little silver ones. These are white, there's different sizes in there. Let's just pop a couple of those and I want to keep them inside the Christmas tree. Just in the middle. Oops. My hands are a bit sticky from the glue. I think that's what's causing the problem. And let's see. Another couple of those there. And they're just some little hearts, little kind of um, white, shiny kind of hearts. Put a couple of those in as well. So I think that should be okay. And then I'm coming in. And this is an easy way of making a shaker card, really. I'm coming in then with my card front. And I just want to get my placement right there. Oops. I think that that looks good. Just pop it down and now we can move this so there we go you can see the shakes quite nicely I wish I'd put a bit more sequence in than I did but it is still quite nice so last but not least, I'm coming in with this little set that I have a few years from Gemini and um, kind of makes this over the edge sort of card. So I just took the little snow die out of that and I ran it through the die cut machine. There was a little snowman as well, but I didn't use him this time. So what I want to do is I want to cut that out and I want to use the snow. So I'm not using it as, I guess, as it's meant to be used, but I just want the word. And I did it in the silver to match the card. Let's just see. I'm going to come along here and just cut that as straight as I can across the bottom. And I end up with that little word snow. So then in the stamp set, you can use dashing through the and then snow. Let it, which is what I'm going to use. So I just pop that little stamp out that says let it. And I'm going to stamp it on this piece of white cardstock. And I link it up with the VersaFine Claire in Nocturne. So let's just see. I don't want to squash it down too hard because when you do, it gets distorted. That's perfect. So just replace my lid there. And 
and I'm going to cut that out. So I'm just going to do it as best I can. It's not rocket science, is it? I have little dies there, but I'm not going to use them. Pardon my dog. I think the postman must be around. It's so dark out there. You think it's a lot later than it is. There we go. So I think I'm going to pop that up there, but I'm going to put a little bit of, just put a couple of foam dots on the back. Let's see, still have some here, haven't I, from earlier. Desk is a bit of a mess now at this stage, but there we are. It's been great fun, really enjoyed making this card. Isn't that what it's all about, having fun? Now let's see. Just take the back off of those. Gonna pop that there. Let it, and I'm going to pop a bit of glue on the back of this. And there we are. I put it in the middle. No, I'll put it over here on the side, I think. They always sticking up, but maybe they'd be nice sticking up a bit. What do you think? There is a bit of glue on the bottom anyway, all across it, so that should hold it. Yeah, that's quite nice. So that's my finished card. I've had great fun making it and I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great day.